Hi, I will show you what's new in the Wobbly Wiggler. So now we can pick the wind effect, and then I can play the animation, and if I bump up the strength of the wind, we get this kind of effect. And to make it more uh, less uniform and less static, we can add a noise uh, factor on top of the wind. And uh, with the value of 1, it will animate wind from basically around 0 up to double the strength. So you can change the seed and increase maybe the frequency. And uh, also in the uh, jiggle groups, you can disable the wind effect. So for example, for the fingers, I may want to set wind influence to zero, so they won't be animated. Now we can also limit the rotation for the jiggle bones. So I will move the hand closer to the character head. And you see the fingers are spreading like so, doesn't look too good. So I can limit uh, rotation in the y-axis, maybe a bit more. So we get now this kind of look. And uh, if I set the limit to zero, it will basically disable that. In the past you could do this by adding a bunch of limit rotation constraints, but it was pain to set up. Now I will show you the roll effect. So for the spine, I will run the simulation, and when I rotate this around local kind of roll axis, there is no uh, jiggle effect applied. But if I use roll, now you see we get this kind of delayed roll-like effect. I can bump up uh, stiffness, so this will be more like stiffer around this roll axis, and I can then bump up dumping to make this uh, react faster for character movement. So we can also manage jiggle group presets. So we select spine in the presets, save preset, spine is OK, and you see it was created. Now I can create new jiggle group and then append this spine preset to it. Also, if you modify some parameters, so uh, now I can update the spine preset using this button. And on top of that, you can also now move the jiggle groups up and down. So the collisions in the wiggly wobbly wiggler are described by the bone envelope size. Now to quickly edit those, you can now use the button in here. And now I will select all the bones reduce envelope distance like so and radius to maybe 0 0.02 and this will be still too big for the fingers so i will select the hand bonus reduce radius twice envelope to zero and let's preview how the fingers look like it seems to now the collision more or less matches the size of the mesh of the finger I wanted also to show improvement in quality when you use very low stiffness. In the past, it would look almost like you are uh, the bones are moving in the slow motion, but it is no longer the issue. Uh, also, I often, often see people complaining about the quality of the collisions. I mean, they never will never be as good as the built-in bullet engine. But if you get some jumping look. For example, like that, then just try to increase substeps. So if it will often help quite a lot. It will be never as good as the bullet engine, but just remember to increase the steps. Now I wanted to show you common issues with baking and how to fix them. We have character with simple uh, ducking action, and I want to add simulation on top. Let's preview this maybe in the animated mode. And uh, this is how it looks with jiggle on top. Later we will fix the low stiffness, but for now let's try to bake that. So we have this ducking action. I can bake the simulation now on top and uh, select bake. And often I see people, for example, selecting to override old action with the replace uh, option. So let's see what will happen. And let's play the animation. You see, this is not looking correct. It is not looking correct because when you selected to replace the ducking action, 
it removed all the keyframes from the duck position. So now the character basically is standing still, and now the simulation is put on top of the standing character. So I will undo that. And the correct way to bake this is instead of using the replace, select combine. And now let's bake that. And you see it looks now better. Uh, another issue sometimes you may have is that uh, like beginning looks kind of uh, weird. So it undo. And uh, it may be that uh, sometimes twist, uh, the limbs are twisted. Like I do not have uh, keyframes on fingers. Sometimes they may look uh, weird when I move to first keyframe. So in that case, if I see some twisted fingers or something, I would select all the bones, Alt G, Alt R to clear transformations, then scrap the timeline, make sure the character looks correctly, and then bake. Now this time I do not want to bake on top of uh, this ducking option, so instead I will select to bake into new one. Call this AAA. This is non cyclic animation, so I will just press OK. You see the new keyframes were added, and simulation is mostly looking fine. Except I will have to tweak the stiffness for the spinal to fix this uh, wobbly behavior. I will put the new bake on to the, to the NLA track. And now let's say I want to increase stiffness for the spine. And let's run the physics. And it does not look correctly what is going on. Well, basically now we are simulating on top of old bake. So you want to disable, for example, old bake or remove it. And now if I simulate, you see the spine is stiffer and looks correctly. So now maybe even too stiff. And OK, so now it looks more or less good. So we remove timeline at the beginning. I will look if the limbs are not twisted somewhere. Seems OK. So I will just now use bake. And in this case, the AA old AAA action exists, and so I don't want to combine all the broken jiggle with new simulation on top. So in this case, I will actually select replace. OK. And let's play that. We do not see any effect because I disabled this NLA track. Let's play again. And you see the stiffer spine action bake was performed correctly. Uh, so just remember, try to move to the first keyframe, see if your limbs are not twisted or something. If they are, then Alt G, Alt R to clear transformation. I will scrap to, scrap to the timeline to make the character snap into the animation position. And then uh, just bake with like I showed you. Hope you like the update. See ya.